It's been a while, so I'm gonna just film a quick update on my saltwater fish tank. You can see a lot of things have changed since I posted a video last. And I'm just gonna post this on the community tab, so I'm not actually putting it out there on my full channel as a video release. See a lot of green star polyp over here in this area. I've went away from a lot of the SPS and went more towards the softies. This is still a really ultra low maintenance tank and I've not changed the water in this ever. Uh, it's been probably two, three years now that this tank's been set up. You can see this is my frag rack over here. A couple Bowser Zoas back there. Lots more softies. Zoas and mushrooms. It's all my fish, so I have a sailfin tang, blue tang, yellow tang, clownfish, yellow chorus wrasse. Um, it's my puffer fish up here with the niger trigger. That's all the fish I have in here. I used to have two shrimp as well, but of course the porcupine puffer seems to have ate those. A couple more zoas over here. Another big softy back there in that corner. So I still have uh, pretty much everything's still really low maintenance. I just have a ATO container that's topping off every day. Canister filter there, uh, that's FX4. Down here is the Core 20. And over here on this side is just the Marine Pier blocks uh, that I still have set up here. And this of course is the controller for the Core 20. And in the tank is MP40 on that side and an MP40 over here on this side. Another big softy back there in that back as well. And of course up here on the top are my uh, Black Widow anemones. You can see I have quite a few of them right now. And I keep those up there because if they go all over the tank, they might sting some of my other coral, kill some of the other ones in there. Um, so that's why I'm keeping those separate. But I actually got the porcupine puffer up here right now. So maybe I'll go ahead and try feeding him. I got him trained to kind of go after the pellets and I can actually like guide him over here. He knows this is the feeding area and he goes really crazy when he knows that he's about to eat. So let's go ahead and feed them. The only thing I do on this tank is really feed every other day. And then I go ahead and top off the water with ATO. I uh, fill that up about once every two weeks. But let me move this down a little bit and you can see how aggressive he is after pellets. I do feed him shrimp every now and then, every couple days, and that's just Meyer frozen shrimp that I cut up and uh, feed to him. The rest of the tangs all are on pellets too. It makes it super easy that when I go on vacation, I use a, I use a F14 fish mate feeder and just fill it up with pellets. And that will last 14 days that I'm able to leave this tank. Maintenance free. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Green star polyp is really taken off. Um, I think that's perfectly fine. I might just go ahead and leave that. And there are some urchins though. This is a blue tuxedo urchin and he actually has a couple avocado zoas on him. So this is just hitchhiking on his back. And there's also another tuxedo urchin up here eating that algae, and that's the only spots of algae I kind of leave for them down in here and up there um, so that they have plenty of it to eat. But yeah, that's pretty much tank update, how things have been going. Uh, it's been probably a year since I posted a video. Things have changed quite a bit, but still going strong and still simpler than ever. Let me know if you guys want to hear any more updates.